What's up guys, this is going to be the first video I do about sort of gear and hardware for drone flying and uh, this is obviously for Transcend FPV, the YouTube channel um, and in this video I just want to talk a little bit about the tiny sort of controllers that you can get uh, these normally come with most small drones uh, this, this will usually be what you get if you get a small drone uh, and you don't have like a Tyrannus or you know another transmitter that will be slightly more high power now I want to just talk about a couple of mods you can do to these very small controllers which will massively in improve your, your accuracy, uh, the range that you can actually fly drones you know, uh, at, and just a little bit about how you can make them a bit easier to use. So this is, this is what you will get normally. You're probably quite familiar with this. And you'll notice the first thing is that these little sort of joysticks here are quite hard to control. Uh, it's, it's sort of too small to, to do a pinch grip um, for most of us. And if you use them like, you know, like a gaming controller, it's quite hard to be accurate, especially if you're flying, you know, uh, fairly far away, or you know, if you want to get better at proximity flying and that sort of thing. So, firstly, I'm just going to show you what I've done and how you can do it. So, this is another controller, very similar, but you'll notice what I've done here is I've actually added little sort of um, sort of caps to the end of these uh, thumbsticks. Now, what that does is that increases the leverage that you have on the joystick. So by doing that, you can have a much finer and more precise control over, you know, the inputs you're giving here. And, you know, layman, in layman's terms, it makes it a lot easier to fly. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to be precise. You can also pinch them quite nicely. Um, and, you know, for a cheap controller, this is pretty much the best way that you're going to be able to control the drone without getting a different transmitter. So that's that. And all I've done this for for here, for this really is I've cut sort of uh, two pen caps in into small sections, put the section on there, super glued it, and then masking tapes all around it. Um, obviously, there are better ways of doing it, but this just was a very quick and easy way of doing it for me. Um, now, the second thing I want to talk about is you'll notice here that I've got the antennae, the uh, the antenna uh, for the transmitter pulled through the case. Okay, so what I've done here is I've unscrewed it. There's normally two, two or three screws in the back. Take this pad off, and you'll notice that this aerial here is normally inside the controller. It's normally flat, okay? And that's fine. That's just how it comes, you know, by default. If you actually then sort of melt a little hole in the casing and pull the antennae through that, like this, okay, it gives you probably double or even triple the range, okay, just like just by doing that. So that's a very easy couple of modifications you can do to your... Uh, to your drone, to your quadcopter, whatever, just to make it a little bit easier to fly and control. Um, the other thing is if you have a um, a drone sort of like this one, this is a Red Pause RO11, I believe, um, what you can actually do is the same thing. So you can unscrew this casing, pull this antennae through the casing so that it pokes upwards instead of just having it laying down flat. And I don't know if it's just me, but I find that gives me at least... Um, at least an extra few meters of range um, and obviously the camera same thing have it pointing up if you can um, and if you're going to do this what I would advise doing is just getting some electrical tape like you see I've done here let me just bring this into focus for you guys um, bring getting some electrical tape and just wrapping it around the camera um, aerial here because if you crash and you're going to crash with these things um, it's going to land normally on its back like this which would obviously bend the antenna and you don't want that so that's just a couple of modifications you can do. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And obviously, sorry about the low quality, but I'm in the process of getting new equipment. So leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you next time.